Hello, in this video I will show you a running system with uh, Ang Angular uh, which connects to Firebase in 2021. 20, uh, so, and uh, this is uh, the code works. Uh, in Angular there was a um, big changing in 2018, so most tutorials won't work anymore. So in this case you get an application or a code where you see a, a website, small local website in Angular, and some code which is on Firebase. So what you see here, this is my local code, and and on my right side I have my Firebase. I think most people know about those uh, that stuff, and. Um, and I'll show you the code now. This is more interesting because normally this doesn't work in uh, most examples. So whatever we have to do with Angular, we, you have to um, to embed uh, the Angular Fire module, initialize um, Fire, Firebase config, that's normal, and then the uh, Angular Firebase module. Write it in this way. And here is this uh, Firebase config, which you will find on the here on uh, somewhere when you start creating a real-time database. In um, then you will find somewhere here in I think I'm not sure where where it is at the moment, but uh, it's some somewhere there. It's not not too diff uh, not too difficult. There's somewhere the configuration, and when you, whenever you have the configuration drop the configuration in there. That's usual in all, uh, in all uh, documentation and tutorials. So what you need is this one and you embed this one. You're importing those uh, uh, injectables or modules, Angular Fire module and Angular Fire database module, both. And uh, have a look on this. This is on Fire and this is Fire database. And then this will work, and your code, your terminal code, uh, will not bring any errors. So normally, if you do this the wrong way, then you will have here some errors. Okay, this is now the. These are the basics. Now, when we go on, we have uh, the following. We have the app component. That's the app component, and there, we have to embed or import the Angular Fire database and Angular Fire list. In former versions this were, was an observable. Observable is uh, a type where uh, which is listen, listening for data and uh, it's of, of a type any. So we don't have these observables anymore uh, since this changed and most tutorials are with the observable. So we have well, all what you do is you take the Angular Fire database and Angular Fire list from Angular Fire to database, and also the observable. You need those two things, and then you go. Then we start uh, normally uh, by this: we injecting the Angular Fire database private and right right here private private. AF, um, so if you write private on there, it will be available all over in this application in the, in the constructor. Uh, that's why you write private in there. And then you have the AFD, AFDB, like this, this AFDB uh, in all the functions. So private Angular Fire database of type Angular Fire database. That's all what you write in the constructor. And now we're using, how, how does it connect? In the new version, in, since 2018, now in 2021, we have the following. Um, it's split into a reference. This is the table. This is the Angular Fire list of type any, not an array. Angular Fire list any, and 
when you, you write here an ng on init, so you say app component implements ng on init, then you have this ng on init, you write this one, or take the code from my website, and then you say uh, make, make a reference uh, of my local database, that's a reference, and take the AFDB, uh, Angular Fire Database, dot list, the list from there, drop or connect the list with my local variable. So this is Angular Fire list, my local list with a connected with a server list. And then um, this you can't, uh, normally you, you try to run the uh, this one, the ng4, when you have Angular, you try always ng4 and show me some data in a list. So something like this, what you see here as a result. So this ng4 for loop, um, this doesn't work with, um, it always brings an error if you type, the, type uh, here the former, um, when, when you try to do it with one variable, with one list only. So that's why you f find some sometimes these examples. This is my reference to the database and this is my data which I show on my um, on my application with Angular. So Angular, when you make a loop with nodes with the Angular stuff, it works. So Angular of type observable any, an array of any, and this is the reference to the table. So we first get the list and then we take the, from that list, from that list, we say, give me connect the changes, the value changes to my Angular stuff. So we have now two variables or two lists. Uh, that's not my, in former times we had here uh, only an um, Angular Fire list observable. So this was different. Okay, that's why most examples in the, uh, in the web don't work anymore. So make a reference to the table, make a reference to your local Angular list. And then when you want to add something, you go there, this uh, notes Firebase data. So the table, which is on Firebase, this is only for, uh, for respects, this, uh, the Angular stuff, the local Angular variables only for the loop. So this is the loop. I'm top, go back to the app component. That's my output, my local, what I show here on my list. This is my list, what I'm showing. And this one, the loop, this loop let note or let my item of my Angular list of type async, asynchronous, uh, give me there a note, a detail, all that stuff which is inside the list. So if you have a note, you have a, some sub notes and all that stuff, show me show me that stuff in the let note or let item of my local list and pull that stuff by async asynchronous. So we only need this one for showing it on the front side and HTML. And the real worker is this one, is the afdb.list. And when we want to add something, we say uh, my list.push then the curly bracket to curly bracket and now uh, here are my is all my stuff what I want to write there so it's like a new something uh, my headline headline dot uh, important important and here a comma so all sub nodes uh, which you want to collect in your node, in your main note, main note might be written in here, and you say my my connected uh, Firebase list dot push round bracket curly bracket curly bracket round bracket, and here are all those key and values. And the same is for uh, if you say okay, I want to update something. If I have here my my list, my Firebase list. 
and say dot update and I see we have here the update as possible we want to do an update we want to get some snapshots remove push and all that stuff now when I say update then you say this is what I want to update uh, it's also possible to say here uh, to take the set command so you also if you say update update and look up for this node so update and look for that node which has this name uh, da, 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 da. where is it this name here this one look for this now <clears throat> there's a front slash if you have if you use the front slash then it's a sub node so we go there uh, where is it node sub node node sub node look for this all the for the first node and that sub node and then make an update so when you say update and i would say here this is my second title second node then i will it will match it will look up for this node and this sub sub node and then match that stuff and it will also only update these three items if you say set there if you take a set then the complete uh, the complete node will be updated so if you have here some further some other stuff sub nodes uh, sub node sub node x uh, super sub then you see you have here four sub nodes now and um, or branches and now only those three will be set if you take update and if you take set the complete node will be uh, exchanged and then you are finally have remove and when you take the remove uh, and you have the cursor around this then you will see this is of type promise here you see promise so you also by all those methods you are able to say uh, dot then so you see this one if you go there and say dot then then you will wait wait for the result or for, for uh, as soon as it's done if you get if uh, the machine comes back and nothing is then it's uh, you may say X goes to uh, console lock and write uh, it's successful and other ways other ways you get the catch and then you say okay give me an uh, the error which comes with it uh, is an error of type error so this is the complete code and that's the output code and as you see now when I save it control s for saving and when you have a look now in my database this is all old old stuff which was not working uh, this complete sample works if i drop this away now i have my client list and this is my server list and we have saved it then now when i say add you will see there's now the adding adding something now you see the cursor is going there and you will see also see there's these nodes came up with this uh, stuff and now we also took the delete did we take the delete there yes this one if you take a delete then the, this node should be deleted but I'm not sure if it's really working in this case but that's not so important uh, it will match I'm not uh, it will match if you take a delete then it looks for the um, here it will look for 2012 and 02 if you have this one and it should find it uh, if you take a set command and the node was not there then the node will be created by this um, you will find the code since this one is running and I'm really happy about this because I was looking so, so such a long time for a real running code and I couldn't find one uh, I'll place my code example here on my website and now all what you have to do you have to uh, take your stuff from there uh, you see here's the example what you see there this is my Firebase this is my local client and then you will see 
that's the description what I told you now and you may take exactly those positions as I explained and I hope I wish you good luck on working with Angular and Firebase.